using her passion to help others one outfit at a time. The folks at Shariah's Closet have been offering emergency clothing to those who need it for the past decade. I followed through with them about their recent expansion to the South Bay. Two T's all the way to teenagers over there. What may look like racks of shirts, pants, and shoes is more than just clothing. Shameen Linton says it symbolizes the hope some people are desperately looking for. When you're showing up to school, you want to be able to show up in things that coordinate and match and not be bullied or laughed at. Something she learned at a young age. Being uh, from Jamaica, having lived experience of clothing insecurities. But it wasn't until decades later when her daughter ended up in the hospital battling a respiratory illness when she decided she wanted to create the change the world needed to tackle those challenges. As soon as her daughter made it home, she created the nonprofit Shariah's Closet, named after her. The mission to collect clothes and everyday necessities for those who need it. That was 10 years ago. Over the years, Shariah's Closet has expanded. ABC 10 News profiled it in 2020 when it faced its own struggles during the pandemic. Last year, we checked in with the organization as it rebounded and expanded even more. It's really increasing every day, uh, the need for our services, especially with the changes in the economy. Last month, they reached a new milestone. We also serve the mails. Opening this space at the Episcopal Community Services Family Engagement Center in Chula Vista. Are you seeing um, there be more of a need here in the South Bay? Absolutely. There's a lot of uh, families that are living in their cars, a lot of homeless uh, with the cost of living and jobs and other circumstances that families are being faced or affected by that really transition into the need for our services. They've already helped dozens of families at this specific location, which leads them to their next goal, finding what they call a forever home. We need at least eight to 10,000 square feet and that space could be donated. That way we can serve more and reach more. ABC 10 News will continue to follow their journey and keep you posted on their progress. In addition to the South Bay, I also cover stories about religion and AAPI communities. If there's a story you'd like me to cover, email me at marie.cornell at 10news.com. You can also scan the QR code on your screen to watch more of my past coverage.